Hi, friends and artists. So happy to see you again, first grade friends. Um, so I'm here to introduce this week's lessons. We are doing first grade lines, line creature part two. And today we're going to review and learn more about lines. We're going to draw lines new and lots of different kinds of lines with Mrs. Gordon. And then you're going to think, reflect, and record in the Google form to get credit. Um, you will need crayons with lots of different colors of crayons this week and your art from last week. Um, remember, there are different elements of art that artists use to make art. The, there are seven of them, line, shape, form, space, color, value, and texture. And we are learning about line. There are lots of different kinds of lines and lots of different kinds of ways to make lines and lots of different ways that artists can use lines to make their work. Um, if you want to, when you're looking at your slideshow, you can go on and watch our video from Scratch Garden um, to review different kinds of lines. And, oops, what's happening? Then um, you're going to click to the next screen and you're going to watch a read aloud of this book called Lines That Wiggle. And as you're watching, you might even want to grab your art journal and draw some of the good lines that you see, like these awesome, like, uh, wavy, uh, curly lines that look like spaghetti. Because we're going to, after you watch this video with all different kinds of really cool lines, um, you are going to add some colored lines to your art. So when you're ready to draw, you need crayons of lots of different colors. You need your art from last week. And then you're going to watch this video of Mrs. Gordon adding different colors of lines to my art from last week. And remember, you can pause the video at any time um, to, if you want to make some lines that I'm making, like if you really love this spider web line, you can do that. Um, remember to keep your art in a safe place for next week. Next week, we're going to turn these beautiful pieces of paper into line creatures. It's going to be really exciting. Um, so remember when you're ready to do your, um, your, your, to get credit for this week's assignment, you're going to think, what element of art did you learn about today? Um, what did you learn about art? And how did you make your art? This is an easy question to answer. There'll be a drop down menu when you get to select it. This one you really have to think, you know, okay, well, if you say I learned about, you know, all different kinds of lines, you might want to give an example of one of the kinds of lines that you learned about, or I've learned um, that you can combine lines, okay, or I learned how to do this kind of line today. And then you're going to think about how did you make your art? Did you draw today? Did you paint? What did you draw with? And what did you draw? when you were drawing. So it might say something like this, like if I painted um, uh, a basket of apples with some watercolor paint, I might say, I painted a basket of apples with watercolor paint and a brush. So you might say something like, I drew what with what? Then you're gonna click here to record your answers. Um, Next week, we'll review what we learned this week again. Um, we will turn our art into creatures by adding different features like eyes and a mouth and maybe something else. And we're going to be doing that with cutting and gluing different colors of paper. So if you get envelopes in the mail this week, you might want to save those so that you can use them um, if you were just going to throw them away or if you get like a magazine or a catalog in the mail, that might work too. You'll need scissors, glue, and different colors of paper. Okay, you will also need your art from this week, next week. Remember, you can, uh, your parents can share with me on Schoology or on, or your people at home or on Twitter or on Instagram. Okay, have a great week, friends. I can't wait to see what you do. Now go ahead and click to the next, click to the lesson and click through the slides yourself, okay? Have a good week. Bye-bye.